not Setsuna. Big box they left in my mailbox. Because it came by USPS, but it's like, it can't be my regular lady. She's the best. My regular mailwoman is the best. She would have brought this up the driveway. It's even paved now. But I had to go run down. My neighbor was like, you got a giant box. And I was like, do I walk down or do I take the truck down? And I'm glad I took the truck down. Because this is a giant ass box that is containing, I have no idea. I literally don't know. That girl have underwear on? Probably. It's anime. Everyone, assume everyone in an, an anime has underwear on. Oh shit. I just gave them my fucking information yesterday. They were like, literally, we need your phone number for the delivery. And I messaged them at like 10 o'clock last night. They're getting just this unboxing, by the way. So we should probably have a little more grandeur. Let's hit, hit these switches that bring this up to maximum capacity. Pasta. I would say this is a sponsored unboxing, but it's not. They didn't pay me cash. They're like, hey, you want to unbox our thing? And I'm like, I could use this. It's the Ufero Laser One. It's a laser engraver. And I think I got the more powerful one. There was two of them. They didn't check mark any of them. Uh, US plug, quality control pass. I think there's a 500 milliwatt. Anyway, this does exactly what you think it does. It will engrave anything you like with a laser. And this, there were two, there are two or three models. There's a weak laser with a short throw, and there's a strong, uh, stronger laser with a longer throw, which means if you have uneven surfaces, it'll work. Um, and you know what the fuck I'm gonna laser engrave. Waifu's on everything, everything, right on the glass screen of like my phone. Just, I don't think it'll work on glass. Oh God. There's a lot of parts. This is gonna be one of those videos that I start and then like you see that it's 8.36 on July 24th and I'll come back and it's like 9.25 on July 28th and it's like, oh, I finished it. Dear valued customer, have a good experience, technical issues, 24 hour support, YouTube support, YouTube O Tour Factory, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group, and Twitter. Holy crap, the amount of thing. Mm, there's a parts list, there's four of those, there's one of these, there's four of those, two of those, and an Allen key. Different models have different mo uh, three options, blah, blah. The LU2, the LU4. I guess I'll know which one I have based on how much of this stuff I have. We're gonna find out. Goggle requirements, wavelength, 400 to 445 nanometers, plus or minus nanometers, with an OD plus five and an L rating minimum requirement of L5. I have no idea what that means. I'm definitely gonna be calling Dan at some point and be like, hey, I got this laser engraver. I'm wondering grave waifus on everything. What do you mean everything? Everything! I always wanted green, green, green glasses. How cool is that? I can't tell. I'm not wearing them, the camera's wearing them. Dude, Terminator vision. So don't lose those. Let's see what else we got. We've got, I feel like this whole thing is, mm, how do I unpack this where it doesn't take up my entire kitchen for four days? Uh, I'm gonna move things back. I'm gonna put that right over there. This can go, this is going, probably, probably staying up here, the pie hat. Well, let me have that and the pie hat, that's too many things. Uh, I'm just gonna unpack it, I'm just gonna unpack it. It's gonna be nice and easy, nice and easy. The build will not be here on the unboxing channel. The build might not even be televised if I'm just upset at how many parts it is. It'll simply come back and I will be upset with my Pepsi. Or by then I might be a mug root beer. I bought this comb, it's not as good as a wet brush. I bought a Conair, like wooden one. I figure it'd be good for slapping, but I won't know. There's no one to slap. There's no one to slap. All right, we're taking this out. This is the laser module. This is the power supply, which they put the bag in upside down. 
How much power is this bitch? 24 volt, two amps. So I don't know if that's enough to run a laser in a scary sense. Here's a tube, which doesn't make any sense because it's a laser and why would it need a tube? Here are a million little parts in a USB cable. Brush, brackets. Uh, I guess it's air pressure. Like I, I literally have never used one of these, nor do I understand how they work. It's just a 3D printer thing that looks like it's just one level and just burns shit. All right, so that's, the, that's that. There's a T-junction. There's a junction. That's what these are for. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Um, this whole thing has to come up. How do I do this without damaging anything? Because this is the main rail. These are the main rails, so... Come on. Is this attached to this? I think it is. I think I'm just gonna work it up slowly. I'm trying to grab. All right, so there's not that much assembly. Actually, that's it. I think that just sits on the counter and then you have this, this slides and then this slides. So it's gonna do its work over there. Kind of cool, actually. Like that means you could like put it, it's, that's because you, it's not just like a, it's not like a 3D printer where you have a bed and you put it on the bed. You put this down on the thing. I could be able to laser engrave shit on the hood of my car. You know what I always wanted to do? And I'm not a religious person, but it would be badass. I want to put uh, two racing stripes up the hood of my car that are like the, the old and new Testament written very small. Just like da -da -da, Mark Ball, Job. I don't give a shit. I don't know the Bible, but just that would be like the baddest ass, like religious car thing. Like the Torah is on the back for some reason. Just keep going. And now, I have the ability to do that. I had to move this a million times. So let's put these things over there. I think I got it all. So wait, which one do I have then? Because I, I literally can't tell. I asked them for specifically a one and then they just sent something and they didn't specify what that something they sent was. And I don't know how the software works. Like, obviously it's gonna be like a line art shading situation. And it's probably gonna be loud as fuck. Because it's not gonna be using the drivers like the 3D printers have. But it's also gonna be much faster. It's gonna be like da -da 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 -da, and just do it. So we have got this, which is not that, but it might be this. How do I tell them apart? LU22 laser module, LU24 laser module. I think this might be the LU2. Because I don't see. It's not the LU2 4. Because that's got a red cone. Oh, wait, this does have a red cone. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second, boys and girls. Oh yeah, it's got the valves and everything. This is the biggest one, the LU2-4 LF laser module. There it is, the red cone. All right. Zeos is happy that this has, has turned out the way it has. Should I look right into it? I'm pretty sure I won't get blind right now if I'm looking right into it, because it's not plugged in. Um, here's a noisy S. I've never seen something like that before. So we've got the laser, a heat sink, a fan inside of this tower, and then a little thing that they cool off with the fan suction on the top, and then this, and then the laser shield. So there's our laser module. Illudium 238 explosive space modulator, which has to get mounted here. So this obviously starts here. Um, I think I'm gonna put this together. I have no idea what the gas hoses are for. Like we've got gas hoses and it was like, if you have a four to four thr throttle valve, which is what we've got, we've got a bunch of shit. Okay, so I'm gonna burn the hell out of stuff. Like it's just, I'm gonna laser engrave everything in pasta's closet. Baby, if you're catching this and you're not here, you haven't been here, um, just look for property of Zeos on everything you own. Everything! Wow, I could do that. I could literally put down every like audio device. I could put my phone down and have it just write my name and address on it. Name and address, write my name and address. 
What do you use, magic marker? <laughs> Laser engraver. It's not even that expensive either. It's like $250. I think there's like $150 one. This is the most expensive one was like 250 or maybe it was 400. I don't remember. All I know is I feel like it would cost a lot more. Interesting, look at that. Power, USB port, offline controller, which is a phone plug, a reset and power button that come through this plastic. You know what audio equipment needs to use this system? I don't hate this, this like just panel with stuff mounted to it. I hope this thing is cool. Um, I'm also going to get out one of my laptops to do this and whatever software it needs. Like, I don't think it's explaining anything about how to make laser in great. Like, does it come up as a printer? Like, if this just comes up as like a Windows printer and I could just feed it like that image and it just like, all right, it judges based on that's dark and that's light. So just do the outline and then do the face. Like, maybe it requires transparency in an image because it's only, it's not like a 3D model. This might fucking work off of an image. So USB cable is actually pretty nice. Two zip ties, I'm sure we'll need. That, the weird hose I don't get. Sample wood to burn into. Wood's for losers, I'm not burning wood. Uh, some sort of spacing card, maybe, black card. Anodized aluminum plate for adjusting focus. Oh, acrylic plate for testing. Wooden plates for testing. So this is a focus adjustment plate. These are wooden plates. Where's the other thing it's talking about? I don't see another. Oh, that's the, I'm holding it. Acrylic plate for testing. We'll see. If I could burn in metal, that'd be amazing. Because if I could set it to like real slow, it'll etch. It'll etch metal. I love the little brush. That's cute. I've got another bag. We've got a wrench, we've got four little brackets, we've got a thumb screw, we've got the Allen key that's gonna put the whole rest of the thing together, and we've got a wrench and an Allen key and a thumb screw. We've got another Allen key. That's a smaller Allen key. That, that, this, and these two. Well, oh my God, there's very, sm holy fuck. Did they tape those to the inside or the outside of the bag? There are these two set screws that I would have absolutely thrown away. Holy shit. Do they even sp show them? Yeah, machine rice screws. Because they're the size of a grain of rice. All right, be, car be careful and cautious. Fuck, I might have to go dig the other ones out of the goddamn garbage now. I don't think anything else is missing. That's just dumb. <sighs> these should be in their own Ziploc bag with like a fucking something that says, hey, I'm here. So I guess I have to leave those there until I'm ready to use them. Uh, you know what I just realized? There's a parts list and there's safety instructions, but there is no instructions on how to put this together. Assembly video. All right, everybody. It's 8.47. Let's, let's see how long it takes to put this bitch together.